seen Arcane Season 2? It's really gay, in a good way. Alright, I'm totally gonna get cancelled for that, so let's just talk about how I made this freaking grenade. Anyways, I liked Arcane Season 2 so much that I wanted to make Jinx's grenade. I used ZBrush and Cinema 4D to do this with Substance Painter and Unreal to do the textures and rendering. I did my main block out in ZBrush. What made this project a lot easier for me is I broke up all the little components into their own pieces rather than keeping it all as a single mesh. So, small pieces makes it more digestible and easy to do stuff. If you think about a real grenade anyways, all those little individual components and pieces makes it a lot easier to model because we're just modeling all of those tiny little Lego bricks, so to speak. To do all that, I used ZBrush and specifically ZModeler to do most of that work. There were a couple periods where things were weird in ZBrush, such as using a ray mesh for the little plus sign bolts on the bottom, so I used Cinema 4D and a cloner to solve that problem to get a very even distribution of all of my little knob things. Basically, we made the low poly version in ZBrush, and then we made a high poly version. The high poly mesh was basically subdividing the mesh by a lot, and then adding some extra little details and flares and scratches and bumps and whatnot to make it feel a little bit more worn and stylized. After the high poly detail was done, we brought the model into Cinema 4D to do all of the UV unwrapping and then all of the packing for UDIMs and fancy texture things using Rhizome UV. I like Rhizome because it officially supports UDIMs, even though Cinema 4D does technically support UDIMs, it's just a little funky. So Rhizome it was for that part of the project. After all of the annoying UV stuff was done, we brought it into Substance Painter. I used a plugin called Simple Diffuse, which helped me get that stylized League of Legends-esque look without a lot of effort. And then we added a bunch of different like paint splotches and stuff. I don't draw well, so my friend Madison Johnson helped me by sketching this monkey, which helped get the Jinx aesthetic locked in and nailed down. She does great League of Legends work among other things and she was very helpful for the drawing part that I obviously can't do. When all the textures from Substance were done, we brought that into Cinema 4D and Redshift. I was gonna do a still render in Redshift, but then I was like, nah, we're gonna do a, a little animation of it just spinning around instead. So we brought it into Unreal. Fun fact, when you try and load 80 4K textures into a single, render with just a single object you might get some weirdness so all of my udim tiles for my render was causing some flickering and unreal was being a little bitch about it so we exported everything as 2k texture maps instead and unreal was much happier and we were finally able to render out this grenade in unreal for all that i posted it to the internet and people liked it great moving on to the next one so if you want to get really technical, this grenade that I made is definitely not game ready. It is significantly more high poly than you would ever use for a game. This was a fun experiment though that I wanted to share because sure, this is great for a close up shot. If it's far away from the camera, you'd probably make a lower poly version. But with this exercise, it was important to understand the process of making all these little components into a single mesh that you might use for a film or a game or whatever else if it's a close up shot for a cinematic. I would not recommend doing an asset like this as high poly as I made it, but the processes I did practice along the way did give me more ammunition and skill for future projects. So if I ever have a thing where I need to do a really good looking render of a grenade or any other prop like that, I at least can say I've done that. So these exercises are fun. I like to practice them and I hope this inspires you to go and make something as well because we want to make cool shit. Go make cool shit. It, it will make you happy and also go and play some video games and go do some stuff for your mental health as well but go make cool shit okay i'll leave it there thanks for watching this vlog on how i made my little jinx grenade if you learned something let me know in the comment section down below questions comments concerns whatever else comment section is down there for that as well and as always i will leave you with the final tip and that is eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight to make some games goodbye my friends bye